Welcome to the audio version of the Electronic Frontier Foundation's Effector Newsletter. This is a pilot project to give people a new way to learn about digital rights and offer more accessibility to our newsletter. This is the audio version of Effector Volume 32, Issue 26, published on September 23, 2020, and titled, Minority Report is Not an Instruction Manual. The editor of this issue is Activism Project Manager Lindsay Oliver and is read by me, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Effector is a semi-weekly newsletter on digital rights issues. Inside, EFF summarizes, links to updates, announcements, blog posts, and news stories to help keep readers on the bleeding edge of their digital rights. Remember, each of the following items has a link to a more detailed description that you can read in the online version of Effector. Let's get to it. Let's start with some top features. Predictive policing only perpetuates bias. The more police departments rely on technology to dictate where to focus efforts and who to be suspicious of, the more harm those departments will cause to vulnerable communities. That's why police departments should be banned from using supposedly data-informed algorithms to inform which communities, and even which people, should receive the lion's share of policing and criminalization. Trump's ban on TikTok violates the First Amendment by eliminating a unique platform for political speech and activism of millions of users, EFF tells court. We filed a friend-of-the-court brief, primarily written by the First Amendment Clinic at the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law, in support of a TikTok employee who is challenging President Donald Trump's ban on TikTok and was seeking temporary restraining order. The employee contends that Trump's executive order infringes the Fifth Amendment rights of TikTok's U.S.-based employees. Our brief, which is joined by two prominent TikTok users, urges the court to consider the First Amendment rights of millions of TikTok users when it evaluates the plaintiff's claims. Next up, we've got some EFF updates. EFF joins coalition urging senators to reject the ERNA Act. EFF has joined together with the Center for Democracy and Technology, the ACLU, Wikimedia Foundation, and 23 other organizations to tell senators to oppose the harmful ERNA Act. This bill would threaten free expression, harm innovation, and jeopardize encryption. We have to stop it. Things to know before your neighborhood installs an automated license plate reader. Every week, EFF receives emails from people wondering if their homeowner's association or neighborhood association is making a smart choice by installing automated license plate readers. Local groups often turn to license plate readers thinking that they will protect their community from crime. But the truth is, these cameras, which record every license plate coming in and out of the neighborhood, may create more problems than they solve. What the? Nintendo. This in-game censorship is? Terrible. While many are staying at home escaping into virtual worlds, it is natural to discuss what is going on in the physical world. But Nintendo is shutting down those conversations with its latest Switch system update on September 14th, 2020 by adding new terms like COVID, coronavirus, and ACAB to its censorship list for usernames, in-game messages, and search terms for in-game custom designs, but not the designs themselves. While we understand the urge to prevent abuse and misinformation about COVID-19, Censoring certain strings of characters is a blunderbuss approach unlikely to substantially improve the conversation. Spain's new Who Defends Your Data report shows robust privacy policies but crucial gaps to fill. Etica's Foundation's second Who Defends Your Data report on data privacy practices in Spain shows how Spain's leading internet and mobile app providers are making progress in being clear about how users' personal data is being protected. But the good news for most of the companies pretty much stops there. All but the largest providers in Spain are seriously lagging when it comes to transparency about government demands for user data, according to the Etica's report. Three interactive tools for understanding police surveillance. As law enforcement and government surveillance technology becomes more and more advanced, it has also become harder for everyday people to avoid. Law enforcement agencies all over the United States are using body-worn cameras, automated license plate readers, drones, and much more, all of which threat people's right to privacy. EFF has three interactive tools to help you learn about the new technologies being deployed around the United States and how they impact you. These tools are the Atlas of Surveillance, Spot the Surveillance, and Who Has Your Face? All right, we have one announcement for you. New date, EFF's 29th annual Pioneer Award Ceremony is on October 15th. Every year, EFF honors leaders on the electronic frontier who are extending freedom and innovation in the realm of information technology. With keynote speaker, Sirius Farvar, join us as we honor AI bias researchers, Joy Bolamwini, Dr. Timnit Jibru, and Debroa Raj, sex worker activist, and tech policy and content moderation researcher, Danielle Blunt, and the collective work of the Open Technology Fund community. Mark your calendars for October 15th with a musical introduction at 4.30 and the ceremony from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Pacific Time. 
And lastly, we've got a couple mini links for you. EFF has a TikTok now. Check out our first two posts on the proposed ban of TikTok and WeChat. This one comes from IAPP. School class recording policy disturbs even the NSA's privacy director. You know you've created an Orwellian nightmare when the officials from the NSA think you've gone too far. This one's from CNN. We shouldn't have to say this, but every household in California should have a broadband connection at least as good as Taco Bell's. 15 to 16 million K-12 through students in California do not have access to high-speed internet at home. The pandemic is throwing into sharp relief the disparities of the digital divide. This one's from Vice. Face recognition is a dangerous, flawed, invasive technology. Example, 324,934. Using facial recognition, a technology highly prone to errors, police in Detroit misidentified and arrested Michael Oliver for a crime he didn't commit. This one's from NBCLX. Pause what you're doing and watch kids explain how Section 230 works in this quick video. Section 230 is the foundation for an internet where people can quickly share their thoughts and content by limiting the liability of platforms for what their users post. Here's your last mini link from Bloomberg. A French court has ruled against using drones to combat COVID-19 because they quote, constitute a serious and manifestly unlawful infringement of privacy rights, end quote. Quote, a Paris-based court ruled that drones with cameras can no longer be used until the concerns are addressed, either via a privacy-friendly law or by equipping the drones with technology that makes it impossible to identify the people filmed. And that's it for Effector Volume 32, Issue 26. Thanks for listening. Remember, the items in this newsletter are links, and this is only a short summary. Please subscribe to Effector at EFF.org slash Effector. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T-O-R for the full stories. You can also visit EFF.org slash Deep Links. That's EFF.org slash D-E-E-P-L-I-N-K-S for the latest EFF blog posts, press releases, events, and announcements. Lastly, EFF is a member-supported organization. We have been defending free speech online, fighting illegal surveillance, promoting the rights of digital innovators, and working to ensure that the rights and freedoms we enjoy are enhanced, rather than eroded as our use of technology grows. This year is EFF's 30th anniversary, and we need your support more than ever. Help us reach our 30th anniversary goal of 30,000 donors by visiting EFF.org slash effect. That's EFF.org slash EFF ECT and sign up as a member today. You can become a member for only $25. Thanks for listening.